All right, well, I'm at it again. I moved a bunch of stuff around, and I'm still not satisfied with the way that it is. Um, the one thing I didn't like is I used to have the 710 in a shelf where I couldn't get to the back of it, and I switched radios all the time. And I almost did a couple of weird things where I accidentally almost hooked up one radio to another radio instead of the antenna. So, um, maybe zoom this out. So, uh, it's really hard to film this as I have stuff in the way. I got the portable stuff in the way. Um, basically, these radios down here at the bottom, I'm not going to use them. They still need some attention. They work. Um, there's a couple other things next to it that work. And um, everything else works, but either needs attention or just I'm not going to use it um, for anything that I do on a daily basis. So... Um, basically moved things up out of my reach that I don't use. Uh, this, for example, here, I actually was in the house. And I don't know, I thought it looked kind of cool out here next to the Hot Water 101. So, um, the two of them are paired up here. This one I was actually just using um, the other day. And I had it in front over here, and I actually kind of like that, but I, I really can only have, like, you know, um, a certain amount of things in rotation or whatever. And uh, that one there I'm not going to use. It works. This is just my dedicated 2 meter, and then this kind of, like, was, like, a little spot where I was, like, keeping stuff for when I was working on stuff. But unless I remove these and... I have nowhere to work on anything, but that's what I did before. I pulled everything right here, and I would work on a radio right there. Well, when the, the 710 was up in here, I couldn't reach the back of it, and then I would, like, cut my hands up on the back of the wood and stuff like that and get splinters and, you know, all the other crap, and then, like, I actually accidentally scratched the top of the radio. I don't know where to go. It's like a... And dug all the way in to the uh, vinyl coating, so I don't want to do that. Um, and also with the radio right here, it's kind of a little bit nicer. Now, I don't like having this power supply that matches the ICOM on the other side of this wood here. But there's not enough room in between here for them to all fit. Um, so, and I had kind of had it over here, but the thing is... Um, I don't want radios touching things. I don't like radios on top of each other. I, I don't like things stacked. The thing with, you stack radios and you put like something like, I don't know, I mean, you know, these legs on a heavy radio on top of another radio and you dent the case, you know, you screw the case up. This is probably a good example of a radio that's like been beat to hell. And I think because previous owners had stacked things on them, you know, and, um, so, I mean, basically, if you want to keep your radios looking nice, you probably shouldn't move them around all the time, you know, so you need to figure out where they fit and, and put them there and, and, and use them, so, these are my two most used radios, and of course, now I have the 12,000, and, um, also, um, I'm looking at something else too, so um, we'll see if that deal goes through or not. Um, but another larger type of radio, um, so it's a surprise. We won't talk about it until it goes through. If the deal goes through, so uh, the 101 down here is cool. You know, they they look great. They make a good backdrop in your video. Um, the 901, I got to uh, open it up and check a few more things. I really haven't had time to do that. It's got a thing in the uh, the audio, um, when the mic kind of 
it does something weird like it's starving for power every once in a while so we need to, to deal with that other than that like that actually works really well until it has that problem so um i thought about like pulling this top shelf here i, I just got like all kinds of stuff like that i've put there to get out of the way um i've also thought about just kind of pulling all these and and, and i can just uh, put these in the file cabinet. They're not really important. They're just for looks and then I can have all my stuff that I'm going to operate with here And I'll put another radio right here Just get all this stuff out of the way and it'll just be like this desk with an operating position So I don't know um, I like to switch back and forth between radios because I get bored, you know but honestly, like, there isn't any point in it, to be honest. They really, like, you pick one, use one, and you don't need to use four or five radios. You can only use one at a time. I can operate HF and, uh, you know, two meters at the same time, but, you know, um, I can't have, you know, multiple HF radios going the way that I have things set up. I know people do, but... So... I, I'm not sure if I want to make it simple or more complicated. You know, that's kind of where it's at. So, if I was going to make it simple, I would probably leave, like, a radio that I'm not crazy about in the corner over here. And I would kind of have these right here. Or I would bring the amplifier that's down there right here. So that it's, it's in, in, in my vision all the time. And then put the radio down there on the shelf and I would have the amplifier and the tuner up here and then um, so you basically be amplifier radio tuner and then out the door you know kind of thing um, and then uh, I'd love to get rid of these shelves just to where like you know Everything's all streamlined, but, you know, I, I don't think it's going to work that well like that because I have so much stuff. So, I can kind of reorganize some stuff, and um, I probably could put the 1200 next to this and the 756 under here. And that would probably be pretty cool, uh, especially if I get it to kind of line up with the... 746 Pro and then I'll have to figure out where I'm going to put my soldering station and that's okay because I don't really have any room to work here anyway I think what I need is just another file cabinet and um, and probably just do that so the, the mess continues I think the only thing I have not messed with is like up here on this shelf so anyway I, I don't know what to do.